Okay, so here we are with uh, my 450 helicopter. I'm going to be trying an auto mission. Uh, this auto mission is, looks like that. It's uh, kind of like a racetrack around our, uh, our field. Um, this is with Argycopter 3.0, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate full auto takeoff all the way down to auto landing. And um, tested it a couple times, so it should work out. And so here's my transmitter. So all you do in this case is hold it down there to arm. It's arming now. And then channel 8 to start the motor. And then once the motor's running, I'll click it into auto, and it should go. There. The yawing is all automatic. It follows the direction of travel. You can see it's actually pretty nice and smooth. Yay, I think it's not going to land on my head this time. Now the, uh, the landing, it does not yaw automatically around. I'm just going to fix the yaw, just in case I have to bail out. And it shut itself down automatically. So there we go, a successful mission. It landed pretty close to where it's supposed to, so um, that's good. Successful mission. We'll just have a quick look here. That's what the track it just did, so it's kind of repeating the same thing. And um, as it did last time, it cuts the uh, corners a little bit because of the settings I've got. demonstrate the loiter performance of uh, or position hold as it's known for some other flight controllers of Argycopter 3.0 um, this is the latest code it's got uh, the same altitude control as 2.9 but then now at 3.0 adds uh, inertial position control as well so it's uh, it's quite good now I was hoping for a windier day but uh, there's just kind of a breeze right now. Um, I was hoping for a windier day, but uh, the weather's been surprisingly calm lately. We'll be taking off manually and uh, then switching into loiter. Now I'm in loiter, that little dip was just as the altitude of old algorithm kicks in. So I will release the sticks now. And... Moving around a little more than I'd like. The, uh, the tail control on this little helicopter is not quite as good as I'd like. It's, that's the main reason. Also maybe just a little GPS drifting going on. Not touching it.
Now, I'm gonna demonstrate that you can actually drive it around a little bit. I'm gonna take it up in altitude just a little bit. My timer just went off. So I'm driving it around in loiter right now. It's uh, very, very smooth and controlled. the tail into the wind. I am commanding it to go down a little bit. So this is hands off again. Nose into the wind. GPS position is drifting just a little bit. I'm going to push it forward again. Let go and it stops nicely all by itself. Now it may drift forward again because obviously the GPS position drifted back a little bit. So it may drift forward. There we go. It's going to slowly creep forward as that GPS position moves forward again. Now uh, the battery is getting low so I'm going to land it in loiter to show how this works. So um, all you do is just a little bit of down collective and it just settles in, plunks down, switch off the motor. It's as easy as that. All right, so uh, it's a pretty good demonstration of the loiter. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate a mode called circle mode. So what it does is it causes the helicopter to fly in a circle in the sky. Uh, with the yaw always paint pointing to the center of the circle so it's set to a 10 meter radius right now and um, it's pretty slow so it would be good for an automatic um, panning shot or where you want to circle an object and, and film it or something like that so um, there's another mode you can use where if you set the radius of the circle to zero it actually just spins around um, so that would be good for a pan so I'll show you the circle mode first with the 10 meter radius. Oops, sorry. Bad to stick by accident. Click it into loiter. Now I'm going to fly it while aiming the camera. Whoops, sorry. I've got to rotate it this way because it it starts the circle from where it's pointing. So I will now click it into circle. I'm going to take it up just a little bit, just in case. That's better.
fighting the wind a little bit. It should still make a nice round circle automatically though. This is all GPS guided, not just a timer or something. Just let it go, it'll just keep going around in a circle. But I'm going to click back into loiter and then fly it back once it reaches the far side. Just in a nice loiter, so the wind picked up a bit. Back to loiter. Now I push the stick forward bit and just flies home nicely, drop the altitude a bit. assisted landing again. It's drifting just a little bit. I'm going to take it up. Okay. The GPS position is moving around a little bit again. Just leave it in loiter right there. You can see the altitude hold is very good. GPS position, it drifts around. It must be a noisy day in space right now. GPS drift, but uh, certainly very controllable. See so if I want to bring it back, I'm going to fly it backwards. So I'm controlling it now, bringing it back to where I want to land it. It's very precise for the control, but it will just follow that GPS signal around. So time to, time to land it now. Shut it off. That's it. 